Welcome back, everybody, to a fabulous end of the line. Now, I know for the first time ever, before I introduce my co-host, uh, we actually have viewers. So when we talk about our viewers now, we won't be total idiots. But No, you will still be an yeah, idiot. That, that's true. But before we get started, I wanted to tell everybody that, obviously, I'm Vegas. And I'm Bill. And uh, we almost had... So there was a joke between Bill and I about less than a week ago, or yeah, when we got our new business cards, uh, we had a disagreement on something, and I said, well, you know, you could always just take a Sharpie to my face on our business cards, because our new business cards have our caricatures on them. And then, uh, I don't remember if it was that day or a day after. It was the day after, yeah. I get a text at a quarter to midnight saying, in the ER. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> so, and I was, I'm presuming, asleep at the time. And uh, I, I think I text, texted you back at like three something or another. I'm like, what the fuck? Are you okay? Nothing. And then I, I send him another one at like <laughs> eight or something going, dude, please tell me you're okay. So come to find out he was okay, but he wasn't okay when all that was going on. And my joke was, well, I guess, you know, if I have to go on solo, I could just take a sharpie to your face yeah you'd, you'd have to i mean it wouldn't be too hard i guess finding somebody like me just a fat fat guy with a beard actually what i could have done is just done my part of the show and then done your part of the show put a wig on <laughs> <laughs> and then oh, just, wait, just wait. superimposed them together <laughs> exactly yeah kind of like that picture you made for me <laughs> hey that that wasn't i didn't make that that was you trying to get into uh exactly into ces so i mean the picture that the security took of me so for those that did not see on our twitter uh and facebook page yesterday uh number one well i'll, I'll get to my er story in a sec but ces denied us media passes because apparently we're not fucking media so since you know right here since we're on video camera right now here's to you ces oh so <laughs> wait, wait. I have I have one of those, and I have another one to match it. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, CES sucked anyway. I watched some of the the recap stuff. There was like four good things. So if you wanted to waste like four good days to see four good things, awesome. Then you've accomplished nothing. Right. But uh, they refuse to give us media passes because apparently we're not media enough. So. Uh, we're not big enough, apparently. Yeah, so you know we, we what? Don't, we don't meet their criteria stipulation. Roger Goodell, you have been dethroned <laughs> by CES. Wow. You are my new arch enemy of the week. Wow. <laughs> well, at least it's only the week because you can always go back to him next week. Yeah, you know, I mean, next, next year I'll go groveling for media passes. Exactly. Good. Can we come back now? I think we have enough people now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so there was the picture on Facebook and Twitter was of uh, Vegas uh, giving his best uh, Mission Impossible Tom Cruise impression. As that he thing was snug. I will tell you that. <laughs> when you actually get to the end, it grabs you in places you forgot you had places. Yeah, it, it's a good reminder of uh, <sighs> the things you miss in life. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> so uh, yeah, the ER thing. So I uh, I decided so as with with all of your talk of Ubering, I decided <laughs> to sign up for Uber. And Frank, uh, so you mean to tell me it was my fault all along? I have a feeling, yeah, Shit. just in a way. Of so <laughs> so basically, I was trying to make it a one one person <laughs> podcast. And we all do. <laughs> <laughs> that was the whole the whole point of your move from Washington down here. Yeah, you, you unseated AJ. You you weaseled your way in as a co host, uh -huh. and now it's your turn to take over as the Vegas show. Uh, so. <laughs> yeah okay <laughs> <laughs> so the uh so i decided to go out and uber on saturday on friday night and i was like well you know ces is in town you know let me let me head out on friday night so i leave my house uh immediately upon leaving i get a notification those to go the, pick somebody those up. are the best ones and uh it was just a quick ride like a three minute ride oh, like, okay you know a few blocks over it wasn't too bad uh as soon as i drop him off another notification to go pick somebody up like a couple streets over and drive them down to cheyenne so it was like a longer drive okay drop this woman off uh it was an older woman visiting her son uh, and she wanted to get home so i dropped her off as soon as i dropped her off Summerlin surges as I'm driving into it, uh -huh. and I pick up these two girls who, by the way, I think are prosti were prostitutes. See, I haven't had one of the. I haven't had any passenger that I felt was you know where I was questionable. Oh, they might be, they might not be, but no, yeah, so I haven't the, had a one yet. Yeah, these two girls were dressed, uh, 
you know, to the nines, uh, you know, and they were heading to the Aria Executive Towers. Ooh. Uh, and they were talking about all the men. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> and they were talking about all the men coming into town for CES and all Dear this stuff. God. And, and so I'm like, I'm starting to think, yeah, they're probably prostitutes, whatever. You know, everyone, whatever. everyone's got a hustle here in, uh, in Vegas. Yep. Even, even us. <laughs> yeah, exactly. We do. So, yeah. So, uh, you know, no, you know, you know, rich, rich Asian executives don't want to pay for my body, but uh, <laughs> well, maybe, you, maybe they do. You don't maybe, know. Maybe that. they do. You, maybe there's a market for there, it. There, there probably is. You so, just haven't gone on to. Uh, uh, well, they don't even have it on Craigslist anymore. How do they? Uh, you know what? I don't want to know. <laughs> Never mind. I I don't want to know. Back page. Back page. That, I thought they. I thought they closed that. Whole, well, oh, no, it's still open. The dude just got arrested or something, but because he was like, you know, trafficking people or something. Yeah. I don't know, but it's still up. Still usable. Wow. Supposedly, whatever. <laughs> so I just, I, I get it, but I just don't get it. I mean, I get it. I understand why people feel the need that they have to, but it's funny to, to go on there and just see different regions. <laughs> like, so I'll be like, "Hey, what do the what do the hordes look like in Kentucky?" <laughs> and I'll be like, "Oh, oh, 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 okay, oh, oh, the ones in Montana have beards." <laughs> yeah, they do. <laughs> And uh, and those upstate buffalo ones that smoke three packs a day. Hey now, <laughs> hey now. Oh shit, that's right, <laughs> you dumbass. No, well, we we talked about it weeks ago about the buffalo fa- buffalo bills fans. Remember it, the buffalo oh. bills fans having the yeah. But when I met her, she was a buffalo <laughs> bills fan. <laughs> I'm so happy that yeah, we actually have a studio now. And <laughs> I don't even think <sighs> it's it's always been an ongoing joke for us on the east coast of the upstate New York people because they're well, like. The lumberjacks. It's the same way, honestly, <laughs> in Washington, but in, in in it's not even upstate. It's from Seattle to Linwood, which yeah. is what our equivalents would be, um, maybe 25, 27 miles. Then, but yeah, wow. <laughs> but uh, the eighties called, and they want their hairstyle back. Yeah, my how culture changes in a thirty minute drive. So in Seattle, yeah. So yeah, uh, yeah. So anyway, I'm I'm driving these whores down to the strip. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit <laughs> so <laughs> so they're like scissoring in the back seat or something i don't know i wasn't paying much attention but um so all of a sudden I'm, i take like I, I take the exit for 15 south okay. right from 95 and my vision just blurs out and as i check each mirror like the whole world is spinning and i'm like what the fuck and like you know i'm thinking like was I poisoned? Like, <laughs> like what? Did they slip me a roofie? Like, did they get in? And did I? And like, I, I like check my neck, like to see if there's like <laughs> an injection dart or something. Hey, didn't like, you see Ocean's Thirteen? Maybe they <laughs> they had the Mickey on them, and, and it kind of wafted up and made you make it. It's possible, dude. I. It's completely possible. So I I was like, man, I, I I'm having a, t- a tough time driving, but I'm not gonna say anything to them. I'm gonna, let's get them off. So I you know drove drove. Wait 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 wait. <laughs> you want to rephrase that? Let's drop them off. Bingo. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, oh, fuck. So, 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 uh, so w- you don't I, make enough money Ubering to get uh, them off. <laughs> I, I, I pull up to the Aria Executive Tower, and uh, uh, when they were done scissoring, they got out. Um, and so I, I was driving away, and I'm like, man, I'm like, I just don't feel right. I've never felt this way before, so I pulled into the gas station down at the bot at the south end of the strip, okay. uh, the one like right across from the Luxor. Yep. And I get out, and I'm like, maybe I just need some fresh air. I start walking towards the gas station. I'm I'm wobbling like I'm drunk, like I'm just, what the fuck is wrong with me? Right. And uh, I go back in the car. Uh, before getting back into the car, I vomit on the ground, and I'm like, I don't feel right. So I called my wife, and I'm like, hey, I'm like, I don't feel right. I, you know, I, I just, something's up. She's like, well, why don't you go to the doctor, go to the ER? I said, all right. I said, I'm going to go to the one by our house though, because I don't trust any of these hospitals down here in the ghetto. Oh, absolutely. So I'm about 30 minutes from Centennial hospital up at the North right. north side. And so I start driving, I get caught in traffic on the strip, of course caught, you do. caught in traffic on 90, 95. My wife's looking up symptoms. She's like, do you have cold sweats? I'm like, yeah. I'm said, I'm throwing up, you know, she's like, do you have chest congestion? I'm like, I do. And I'm like, and she's like, well, I mean, according to this, the number one thing is a possible heart attack. Yeah. You could be having a heart attack. And yeah. I'm like, oh, fuck. And yeah. I'm like, then I go into panic mode 
and I'm I, I'm like on 95, caught in traffic, and I'm opening the door like every five seconds and vomiting out the door. Wow! Like it is it is just shit's going downhill fast, dude. And I take the exit uh, for Rancho, and I just say, "Hey, I'm just gonna drive Rancho all the way up." Right. And well, I think yeah. So I I I think it was Rancho, but anyway, I took Rancho. Uh, I'm driving and now. Once my wife said heart attack, I turned my 45 miles an hour into about 85 miles an hour, flying up Rancho, right? Blowing through red lights, dude. Oh yeah. I had my emergency f- like lights on, but the good news is nobody, no cop stopped me. So, <laughs> so that tells me they were busy. Then on Friday night, you can do whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> Only during CES. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I I come ripping into the the hospital parking lot at the ER. I go. Bolting through the doors. Help I, me. Dude, I walk up to the counter. I'm like, I think I'm having a heart attack. <laughs> and they're like, oh, shit. And I was like, I'm not drinking. I'm not on drugs. I, I'm fucked up. <laughs> and so they sit me down, fucking hook me all up to the EKGs. And I'm sitting there and they're like, no, it's not a heart attack. And I'm like, who the fuck? <laughs> all over the place. I'm like, what is wrong with me? They pulled me in back. The doctor comes out, does like an eye exam real quick. He's like, just checking my eyes. He's like, looks like you have, uh, you're, you're suffering right now from uh, benign vertigo. And I'm like, okay, I didn't know vertigo had a different <laughs> qualification other than you have vertigo, you do not have vertigo. Yeah. So, I mean, it could have been triggered from some type of jostling of my head. Uh, if I got in an accident and it can happen like like if you get a car accident like months later or something, it can just pop up or something. Yeah. Or if I hit my head months ago, all right. of a sudden, boom, now I have benign vertigo. So it was random. Uh, it has all the same. Sim- if you look up benign vertigo and then look up heart attack, yeah. they have the same fucking symptoms. Yep. Vastly different things. Yes. So they hooked me up to some IVs, uh, pumped me full of some liquids and medicines and had me take some pills and... Then the doctor said, I'll come back in a little bit once your blood work comes back because they took some blood. and uh, Make sure that you weren't on. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> they didn't slip you a roofie. And then, like, uh, I don't know. I, I ended up sending my wife home. She met me at the hospital. I sent her home and said, hey, I'm, I'm fine. I fell asleep. I don't even know what time the doctor came back in. And he said, yeah, you're good to go. <laughs> Here's your prescription. Peace out. And that was it. Like, Wow. So, I mean. Yeah, obviously, such a downer of the story. I didn't have a heart attack, but uh, no, it's not a downer of the story because remember, I've had two. Oh shit! And I, you know, same uh, symptoms. Not both times. No, <clears throat> one time. Uh, so the very first one, I was at work and didn't know what it was. I really didn't, but I really didn't feel like you felt. Okay, I just I was having a hard time catching my breath, and I really didn't, you know, finished out the rest of my day and so on and so forth. Went home. And about a week later, the day that the Seahawks were losing in the Super Bowl, which everybody, you know, even the doctor said, well, hopefully you're not a Hawks fan. I said, well, I am. He goes, well, that's probably what did it. And I'm like, no, it started way earlier. Wait, so you had a heart attack the same year the Seahawks lost? Yeah. Like that same day? That same day. Fuck, dude. What 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 a completely <laughs> contrasting day we had on that day. Because I was at that Super Bowl. <laughs> no, 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 no. It was the year that they lost in the playoffs. Oh, okay. It was, okay. So it was gotcha. 2012. Gotcha. Okay. So it was the year they got the first year that they were so back, the first, back in. Yeah. Well, the first um, uh, Russell. Yep. The first year with Russell we went to the playoffs and because gotcha. <laughs> there's no reason why we should have been in those playoffs at all. Well, <laughs> didn't you guys make it to the playoffs as eight and eight team or was it the yeah, losing I, record? No, no, year? it was an eight and eight. Team. OK, yeah, because I, I remember one year uh, it was either you or the Rams made it with like a seven and nine record. Yep, that was us <laughs> uh, two, three years before that with Hasselback. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that was and, and it was funny. Speaking of Hasselback. He's now a commentator. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, he is. <laughs> he wasn't that great of a football player, but whatever. Hey, you know they. Uh, <laughs> I'll take anybody. He's good on camera, I guess. But yeah, I didn't know you. Uh, you had two yourself. Oh. So and so then the second one. Now the second one, it, and it actually happened before the game started. I believe, pretty sure, because I was, you know, we were in, in our house in Woodenville, and I was trying to get comfortable, and that was the problem. Is I just couldn't get comfortable it was a weird like 
you know, God, my shoulder hurts, but it was my right shoulder, and usually they tell you it's your left shoulder. And yep. I, I didn't, didn't really feel any chest. Maybe your heart's on the opposite side. That could be. That would explain a lot. <laughs> that would really explain. That would go a long way. Anyway, um, so my wife was like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to, you know, we're going to uh, call 911. I'm like, don't. I'll be fine. And sure enough, she calls. She goes back into the bedroom, calls. <laughs> And it was snowing, so they they show. <laughs> no, up don't worry, I'm not gonna. Nine one one, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I think he's gonna die. So anyway, uh, are they, you in distress, ma'am? No, <laughs> but I will be if he finds out. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so they show up, and so uh, when you were in the ER, they didn't have to do much to prep you, did they? What do you mean, prep me? To put all the little pads on you, did they? They had to shave my ass. Oh. <laughs> no, they didn't. Yeah. I, 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 With I, the world's worst, and not, I don't <laughs> know what kind. I'm, I'm, I was like, what are you talking about? I'm like, did they put a finger in your asshole or something? <laughs> prep you? <laughs> and then check the oil? Yeah. <laughs> oh, this guy's from Rhode Island. <laughs> You, you mean you mean put, putting your finger in your ass is not part of the heart procedure? <laughs> no, and it's not part of a dental uh, procedure s- I just recently found out. <laughs> sir. Son of a bitch. <laughs> sir, remove your finger from your own asshole. What do you mean? <laughs> I didn't know that was frowned upon in this kind of establishment. Exactly. I can't do it at home, damn it. So they, they shaved you with the world's uh, rustiest razor? No, it was a... I've never seen... I. I you know, I have a cordless set of clippers for when I don't shave weekly and I got to knock down some of the forest. And uh, so that one has a battery and it has a lithium battery. I've never seen one that has the old fashioned double edged blade on it. You know, that you unscrew the thing and drop the thing. Oh, shit. Like huh? the guy on TV from Pawn Stars is hacking that one. Anyway. I have no idea what you're talking about. But I, I, I'm familiar with the show. Okay. I've never seen it. There is a, 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 a big base on it, which I know that this is going to get a reaction out of you, but it looks like uh, the shape and size of a dildo <laughs> because it takes two D batteries. So D they, batteries. Shit, huh? D. You and they turn this thing on and it goes, kind of like the piercing pagoda almost. <laughs> bum, 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 bum. Exactly. And this what? thing is just like, <laughs> I'm as like, you, as you're sitting there dying from right, a heart attack. Exactly. <laughs> I'm sitting there going, you're getting that on my chair, man. <laughs> and so, again, and this is not a close shave by any stretch of the imagination, okay? It's like, you know, like like this kind of, you know, three days growth and yeah. they, uh, what they get it down to. And so, of course, the damn pads still aren't sticking. And I'm just like, I'll just hold them. <laughs> or do you want me to go get a razor that works? No, 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 sir. You just sit, sit right there. And sure enough. I could pull out the weed whacker. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Probably, you know what, dude? It would have gone a lot quicker. <laughs> <laughs> it might Instead have, of that, might have hurt a little I don't, bit. I don't know because that D that and it wasn't like it was an electric clippers. It was a straight edge blade that was vibrated <laughs> violently by this base. That's what you get for going to an Amish hospital. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> a little hand crank, <laughs> like a hand crank mixer. Hold still, sir. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Hold still. <laughs> that would be freaking. Oh, just oh, like in the oh, old what, days. What, what, one sec. I got to finish this. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, it's just like, you know, I thought of, and, and I'm not going to go. Well, I will. I can go into our next segment because you, we all know that I've been going to the dentist to get things fixed. And I just recently, a couple of days ago, thought of. You know, we make a joke about Amish, but remember back in the old days, they didn't have the pneumatic equipment that they have now. That shit was all foot operated. Oh, yeah. And yeah. so they're sitting there going, and if the guy's leg gives out, so does the drill bit. <laughs> and so while he's going, and then all of a sudden the drill bit slows down and bing, it's a nice little sensitive spot. So the reason why the, the number one thing is pressure equals pain, okay, because I am <laughs> sick and Fucking, and I hope to God. Now I've got to go tomorrow, so I don't think this is going to air before I go back into the chair. It will, whatever. So, at least this part will. That <laughs> that that one might take an extra day. <laughs> so, Sorry, guys. So, uh, the whole they have to stop saying pressure because 
that's the only word they know. They stick in this. You're this. gonna you're gonna feel a little bit of pressure. Yes. I no. say I say that every time before anal sex. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, before you receive? It could go either way. Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't, I don't judge. Exactly. So You're going to feel a little bit of pressure. God, and then they start, so they go in with the Novocaine, right? And then they start rooting around. Have you ever actually opened your eyes while they're doing that? Uh, I've never had that. Okay, be thankful. So you've never had the big Novocaine injection? No. So you haven't had any major road work, teeth work done <laughs> No, No major road work. Uh, cool. Uh, state didn't come through with the funding. <laughs> Thank God. They, they, they felt the yield sign was appropriate. <laughs> bump. <laughs> Let's just fix the fucking bump. Yeah. So, uh, so pressure equals pain. No. Or pressure... Uh, is not pressure. There is no pressure involved. You don't feel a little bit of pressure. Because when I think of pressure, I'm like, oh, okay, that's pressure. Because that doesn't hurt, but I can feel it. Yeah. Okay. This shit fucking hurts. And what? then they want to root around in there like they're doing exploratory surgery with the fucking needle. Ugh. That still takes time to make you numb. So it's not instant you're numb. It's like, hang on. Oh, uh, the viewers are gonna hate, or <laughs> listeners are gonna hate hate that noise. <laughs> but anyway, th- and they don't have anything new. The 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 needle that they use to inject you with Novocaine looks like it's from nine. No, I'll be generous. Eighteen seventeen, because it's a stainless steel tube with this giant plunger, and it almost takes four people to use it. Well, that seems uh. Oddly comical, like a fucking. It is, you know, like when the clown pulls out the giant needle from his bag. Basically, clown doctors. And yeah, shit. and so I am. So my my wife seems to think that I that I pushed it off because I'm dreading it, and I'm really not. I really want everything to be done. I want to be able to chew again, for Christ's sake. Because yeah. having to having to mull shit around in your mouth to find um where the the uh, Bottom teeth that I do have match up with the full set of upper teeth that I have now. It's 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 a a pain in the ass. It gets very frustrating very very quickly, and you just go fuck it. I'll give up. And I just <laughs> been drinking shit, been drinking the protein shakes, eating curly noodle soup like I'm. You know, well I know we've we all we already know that some of our listeners have accused me of being of Asian descent. <laughs> well, you are of Asian descent. Pacific Islander. No, it's of Asian descent I know, still. I know it's Asian descent. <laughs> like if you straight up went to that genealogy thing and set your <sighs> DNA in, nope. they'd have some some shades along the Eastern Asian oh, area. Oh, absolutely. Speaking of which, I'm waiting for mine to get back. Oh, that's right. So Please, your wife did say something about that. Yeah, I and I didn't know that she was talking about you. Yeah, I'm, thought well, maybe you did it on one of the kids because you weren't sure. <laughs> <laughs> no, both of us, her and I. Uh, my mother-in-law paid for uh, the the thing because it was on sale before Christmas. So she, you might not be Irish. I might not be. You I'm, might just be a straight up asshole. Might be just zero percent. So <laughs> it, you never know. So my, uh, I'll tell you my, and I don't, <laughs> don't want to make fun of the guy because he's my father-in-law. But uh, he, for the longest time, thought he was Native American, right? Uh, he, his whole family has celebrated. Wait, 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 wait. What? Didn't I meet him? No, you never met him. Oh, I met her. Okay, got it. Yeah. Okay, got so, it. He, her family lineage is complicated. So, okay, <laughs> it's actually her step step. Uh, yes, stepfather, right? That's who I met? It, yeah. No, you met her real father. Oh. It's her stepfather that you did not meet. Okay, okay, got it. So you met her stepmother and real father. But got it. Okay. Each remarried. But anyway, so my wife's stepfather, which would be my stepfather-in-law, uh, has thought he was, uh, has celebrated his Native American heritage through, I mean, his mother did and, and grandmother. I mean, they were very proud of their Native American heritage. He has long, straight black hair. Like It's you almost know. a dead giveaway. Usually it is, yep. right? So, uh, you know, every year I know that, you know, my go-to gift has been, hey, get him something Native American. Like ser- search online for some <laughs> type of, you know, wall art or something. That's not racist at all. 
Well, no, he, he he was proud of his heritage, and so oh, I would, okay, okay, you know, that, so you're, you're right. You're so right. I would go online and say, you know, you know, kind of like when people are like like my wife, she liked dolphins, right? When she was growing up, so every year she would get a new dolphin like trinket or something. Oh, that's right. And, I have to start buying your wife turtles. Don't I? <laughs> and then, and then one one year, like she was just like, "Fuck dolphins! I hate." I mean, she likes yeah. dolphins. But she doesn't want any more dolphins. Exactly. Shit. So, but I would always send him like the Native American like wall art and like wolf heads and shit like that. Right. He even has a nice like dream catcher like tattoo and all this stuff so i'm so waiting to hear the results so he sent in for the uh you know for the genealogy thing to right. find out how, what percentage and what what part native american you know if, yeah. it, if it even breaks it down or whatever right and it came back he is zero <laughs> percent native american what the, zero what the hell is he i have no idea but but he's zero percent i mean like not even like you know if you were like five percent and you were like well you know this could skate by i could still claim it right you know i'm still proud of the heritage and stuff like that and like justifies everything but when you're zero (laughs) percent you're straight up zip now you look over at your wall and you're like ah fuck do i tell people (laughs) yes please i I don't know i mean i'll tell you if it came back that i was zero percent irish with my last name, and I'm not going to talk about what my last name is, right. but it's a very Irish last name. I'd say, and that's what I was going to ask you: Is your last name Irish only? Yeah, okay, it is. Okay, it okay. is. Yeah. Because aren't there other? Um, and again, I'm not going to say somebody else's name, uh, but aren't there other? Uh, oh, a, Ir- a lot of the mix are oh, okay. can go either way. Got it. Okay. So, uh, but the O's are generally Irish. The O's have it. The O's have it. Got it. O'Doyle rules. Oh dear God. <laughs> uh. So, uh, yeah, so, I mean, if it came back that I was 0% Irish, no fucking way I'd be telling anybody. <laughs> so, we'll find out. So, okay. I, I very well could what? be a uh, young black woman. I mean, you never know. <laughs> I was born a poor black child. <laughs> <laughs> and all I need is this paddle ball, and I don't need you. So, question, because this is going to sound racist. I thought. <laughs> Not to be racist, no, but. I, see, I didn't start out that way. <laughs> Uh, aren't how, how how much percentage of Irish people are actually redhead? Uh, that's a good question. I, I don't know what the percentage is. But aren't uh, redheads predominantly Irish? I mean, doesn't it only come from that area? I, the- Irish and Scottish. Yeah. Okay, okay. So I, I don't know what the percentage is. I don't, know, yeah, I don't know what the breakdown is, but uh, that wasn't too racist, was it? No, that's not. That's okay, not I don't cool. think that's racist at all. That's good. Because I had another one loaded. As soon as you told me something, I'm like, oh, shut up, shut up, shut up. Don't say it. Don't say it. Don't no, say go, it. go ahead. Well, no, no, no. Uh, that was the episode that I had to spend extra time over oh, at your house. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> he, he was reprimanded. Oh. So uh, so anyway, uh, Christmas cards. Obviously. <laughs> uh, so for, did you get a Christmas card from us? I yes. Okay. You you and well no, <laughs> I I wanted to say you and you alone, but um there is a dentist in Washington. <laughs> yeah I know, but not my dentist. It's funny because <laughs> I called my buddy too the other day and I was like, hey, did you ever get our Christmas card? He's like, yeah. He's like, you and uh, Hertz Chevrolet <laughs> sent me one. <laughs> hey, I got one from Marlboro though. <laughs> oh, did you? Yeah, we haven't killed you yet, so here's some more coupons. Yeah, like, please, thanks, Marlboro. Please keep coming. Please. <laughs> Um, they give me a birthday card every year, too. So sorry it was so late. Uh, you got the Christmas card likely after Christmas. No, no, no. We got it before. Did you really? Yes, yes we did. Okay, barely then. Because Probably. It was, Christmas fell on a Sunday, right? Christmas Eve was Saturday? I think it Correct. Could. All right, yes. so on Thursday night, I look down at the <laughs> table and I see all the fucking Christmas Holy cards. Holy shit. <laughs> and I said to my wife, I said, hey... When are we going to get these Christmas cards out? <laughs> well, I'm working on it. I said, Christmas is in two fucking days. <laughs> so not, not, not to knock. My wife is uh, she's artsy, right? So she likes to do a lot of artistic things and make things herself and hand do them. So she made that. She designed that Christmas card herself and did it all. Went and got it printed like we didn't just send away for it. So she, you know, did, did the whole thing. Right. But then she started to try to teach herself calligraphy. Oh, dear God. Um, so she spent fucking weeks like learning letters and doing shit that she wanted to do. So so she did all that on the card? Well, still, the thing, I don't know. I don't know which card you have. <laughs> so I got a long, skinny green one with so, you guys in your, yeah, your sweaters. So, so was the, was the, like, 
address and stuff all fancified. Yes, yes, it was. So she did all that. That was oh, she okay. taught herself how to do the fancy lettering and stuff. I don't have the pic. You've so, seen like, my writing. So I, I, I do not. I have like the pic. look down. We I, should pan the camera so people could see the whiteboard. No, see what my writing looks like. <laughs> yes, I have the writing of a serial killer <laughs> and or a doctor. I write with my toes. So no, uh, actually, that is with my hand. It's just. <laughs> I'm always too much of a hurry. That's why I print <laughs> yours out. <laughs> yeah, it looks nice. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, so I looked down at the cards. I'm like, you. I'm like, it's been like two months. I said, <laughs> whatever. I said, you've done two cards. I said, we need to get these this shit going. So apparently, I got one, and and you and the other buddies got one. And <laughs> <laughs> so I told her. I said, listen, if these aren't fucking done tomorrow. I said, I don't care about the calligraphy. I said, no offense. I said, if these aren't done tomorrow, I'm just going to finish them and I'm going to send them out. Uh-huh. No, no, I got it. I'm like, I'm just going to finish them and send them out by tomorrow night. Here's what you could have done. Remember that picture you showed me just a couple of days ago of, of somebody else who wrote yeah. it, and I won't say the name. You could have done that and said that the kids did it. <laughs> right? Yeah, I could have. Yeah. <laughs> I, but I was just like, listen, it's Christmas is in two days. We need to get this fuck cards out. Because people want, I said, nobody keeps Christmas cards. I said, they ours get them. Is, ours is still up I there. I said, they get them, they put them on their fridge, yeah. and then like two weeks after Christmas, they're, they're thrown away. Yep. I said, when people are sick of looking at their other people's families. Mm, no. <laughs> that's, that's how it goes. That's how it goes for us. We get them in, we're like, oh, cool. Refrigerator. And then two weeks later, gone. Well, and I was like, you know, so the longer you you know lead time before christmas they get the cards yeah the longer the cards are useful true that, i said i don't yeah. like to just waste money on shit that goes from somebody's like envelope to the trash immediately so <laughs> let's send this shit out wow thanks guys yeah <laughs> it would have been nice for christmas <laughs> it's, it's fucking valentine's day i don't need this now <laughs> so yeah needless to say she finished them up but she didn't co- do any more calligraphy on them she just <laughs> hand wrote them and hurried up and sent them well now but, i gotta go look yeah, you gotta. You'll have when, to let me when know. We're done. I gotta go. Oh yeah, I gotta look. <laughs> so what is uh, what is the, what is the next one on this? Oh, people no tippy. Uh, people no tippy. Fuck. What? You know, I, 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 I don't get it. I here, here's my biggest and the reason why I put that. You, and I told you that most people don't tip when when the, the, do the whole Uber. Yeah, thing. that's why you use Uber. I understand that, and I don't have a problem with that. What I had a problem with was when I saw. Picked up a guy. He had three bags, three heavy suitcases with him. Tipped the bellman $20 for the bellman to push them in my direction. (laughs) To which I then picked them up, put them in the truck. When we got to the airport, took them out of the truck. I extended all the handles for him, put them up on the curb so he didn't have to fight with that. And and I saw the 20 interaction. I saw it. So I'm I'm not expecting a 20. But I'm sitting there going, maybe I'll get a 22. And my wife was like, well, you know, maybe that's all the cash he had. I said, no, baby. He had a wallet that was about two inches thick, and the smallest bill he had was a 20. Do you have a sign in your truck that say tips are appreciated? Yep, I sure do. Oh, do you really? Yes, it's hanging out the back seat. It says, please rate five stars. Tips are, all, are never expected, but always appreciated. And yes, Vegas is my real name. Oh shit! Okay, I got that a lot too. Well, fair <laughs> enough. I was gonna just knock you for not having a sign. No, well, I did. But you have a sign, I so <laughs> it's like, please, you, you know, I, even even the people who do this for a regular job. Now, now I won't say I won't gotten. I don't haven't gotten any tips because it, when uh, next time you come over to the house, um, and I have a a. a uh, so my my wife is kind of into this feng shui thing. She likes to put different things in different corners of the house because it means different things. So in the balance and harmony, bingo. <laughs> so in the money corner is where my tips are all sitting. And I just recently, a couple of days ago, counted them up and I was like, "Oh, that's that's not bad." It's like 160 bucks down there. Oh, not bad. That's no, not bad at all. Yeah, for extra money. Yeah, exactly. For on top of what I'm already doing. So it's just, I don't understand the no tippy thing. And it's not just because I'm an Uber driver. I've seen people walk out. So do you ever take partake in our buffets here in our lovely city? I do. Because I'm a buffet freak. Do you uh, tip them at all? A uh, dollar per person. That's exactly. The, that's the standard buffet tip. Okay. So in, in Vegas, and we do have a list of standards out here. What's the standard baggage? Uh, I never have anybody else touch my bag, so I don't know. 
touch your bag or your sack? Both. <laughs> well, hey, the going rate for somebody to touch your sack is 75 bucks, but you got to finish before the song's over. <laughs> <laughs> what song? Is it the Hokey Pokey? Because that's a short song. <laughs> that was a strip club reference. Or is it... <laughs> <laughs> or is it dark side of the moon? <laughs> you know, I'm just saying perspective here. So I, I just don't understand the zero tip. Um, well, you, hey, you, you know drive what? Uber, man. I mean, that's, you know, if I, if I, you know, took the turns at 90 miles an hour and accidentally slammed your head up against the window. Hey, I get it. Yeah. And, and I understand. And I don't <laughs> know why they don't put it in the app because uh, what I get a lot is, well, I don't know how to tip you. What I do get, Money, cash. Yeah. Well, I don't know how to tip you in the app, so here, this is for you. And I, you know, I exclaim, exclaim, "Oh, thank you so much! I, I really, really appreciate that." Because I do. If you want tips, drive Lyft. <laughs> my, we've already discussed. Yeah, I know. This. My truck doesn't qualify. Uh, Use your Uber money to eventually transition into uh, a Prius Prime. What is a Prius Have Prime? Have you seen it? No, it's. Oh my god. Okay. So Autobots assemble. Is, so, that, is that the kind of prime? No. Oh, okay. So uh, I know that this is a, an older reference, but do you have you ever heard of anybody refer to a car as a poor man's Porsche? And do you remember what that car is? A poor man's Porsche. No. It's basically a Volkswagen. Okay. I've heard that term before, okay. but I've just I didn't know it related to that. And it's basically like a because they both have a Boxster motor in them. Blah 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 blah. So this would be the poor man's um tesla uh, yes thank you <laughs> do you know why no okay so have you ever gotten into tesla uh no yeah, but you know in the center console they have that big why didn't they have any fucking teslas at the goddamn auto show you know what they did have what? a shitload of those fucking bmws that are uh, oh yeah, those plug- B- bmws look nice and those yeah those badass sports ones and um, that guy went around i saw because they were doing uh loops around the convention center this guy was taking that turn, and and it was he was probably he would wait for people in front of him to clear out, and he, I don't know if he stomped on it, but there was never any squealing of tires. That thing just took off like electromagnetic magnetic propulsion. Dear God, but, 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 do. exactly. <laughs> do, but, do. Yes, I do have a grasp of the English language. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Can there was a comedian today talking about the 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 Indian, not Native American, but Indian Indian accent. He goes, you know, it's a fun accent. He goes, we understand. He goes, we totally get it. It's fun. He goes, we have fun with it. He 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 does not speak with an with an Indian accent at all. He goes, but if I need it to break the tension, I'll drop it. And he goes, come on, let's think about it. Everything sounds a lot more friendly when you use an Indian accent. He goes, I'll give you um, uh, an example. He goes, if somebody walked up to you and said, hey, can I put my finger in your butt? That'd be an issue. But if somebody walks up to you and goes, excuse me, can I put a finger in your butt? (laughs) Okay. Sounds a little more pleasing. Both equally enticing. (laughs) Can I put a finger in your butt? Can we use two fingers this time? (laughs) I can get that. There you go. Never get a prostate exam <laughs> from Captain Hook. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that'll be the only one you ever get. But but you won't have to worry about piles. Yep, that's true. <laughs> so anyway, the Prius Prime. Uh, how much does a Tesla go for? I have no idea. Hundred hundred <sighs> hundred thousand plus, right? No, no. The oh. the the cheaper ones I think you can get for about eighty. <laughs> the cheaper ones yeah, about eighty. So. Um, anyway, on the center console, their 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 touch screen, where you know normally, like yours, yours is about about um, what eight inches by four inches, roughly. Uh, yeah. Okay, so the I one guess, the, the one that's in the Tesla is about ten inches wide by fourteen inches long, and it's, uh, it's yeah, I've seen that one. Okay, so in the Prius Prime, same thing. In the center, I'm like. <laughs> And I'm sitting there going, God, I wonder how much one of these is. And the upshot bonus, it doesn't look like a fucking Prius. It yeah. actually looks like a nice car. And that's why, like with my car, I have a Ford Fusion. It's right. electric. That's why I got it, because it looks like a normal car. Right. And so the 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 Prius Prime is very much like your car, where you can plug it in, and it's a hybrid. Nice. Yeah. So, But all the batteries aren't in the trunk. <laughs> <laughs> I could barely fit some old lady's oxygen tank. <laughs> <laughs> Did you pick her up from bingo? <laughs> Sonny, would you like some marshmallows? I have some extra. 
I have some butterscotch candy. <laughs> hey, I like butterscotch candy. Yeah, but they co- just don't like course, me right of now. Of course you do. Of course so. I do. <laughs> so, uh, so, so yeah. what have you done this week? So uh, there's a couple different things. So the other day, <laughs> five. No, you can't six. point to the list. I know because yeah. now people see it. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, we can't have subtle transitions to well, different we things. We can. <laughs> but we didn't. Yeah. So, uh, 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 can I put a finger in your butt? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Let me stick yes. it in your pooper. O- only if we make eye contact. <laughs> hey, buddy. <laughs> so, uh, buddy, can I stick a finger in your butt? <laughs> 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 so, uh, Speaking of fingers and butt, uh, oh, hey. I did I did go to see uh, the Fifty Shades parody uh, last week. Where was it at? So it was at Bally's. Uh, so for was it in the Jubilee Theater, I think what oh, I, on the main casino floor. Yeah, that, yeah. yeah. So uh, for those that don't know, uh, there's a your, there's a site called House Seats, HouseSeats.com, um, and you can go on, you can sign up. It's like eighty bucks for the year for two tickets. Or 150 bucks, they give you a $10 discount for up to four tickets. And what it does is it allows you to go on the website every single day and see different seats, uh, different shows that they have extra seats for that they'll give away for free. So you pay 80 bucks as your club membership, kind of. And then anything you see that's on that site, you can go see for free. So, however, my. However, what? However, you need to tell our listeners down in Mexico and Washington. Oh, you have to be Las Vegas locals. There you go. So yeah, it only uh, it only is for <laughs> Las Vegas locals. So you actually have to have uh, a local ID. Um, so my wife and I were going to go to <laughs> we're gonna go to Fifty Shades. Uh, I got the tickets, and then she ended up backing out. Uh, so I ended up uh, asking my sister in law if she wanted to go. She went with me, um, and I was not exp- you know because I was expecting to go with my wife. Um, you know, because she read the books and all that stuff, exactly. and my sister in law did too. And but you did the voiceovers. I did for all the, deaf the people. I did all the voiceovers <laughs> for the de- for the deaf. Can I stick your finger in your butt? <laughs> Mister Gray stuck three fingers in Anastasia. <laughs> oh, <laughs> come on! Doesn't that just get you all randy? A <laughs> uh, mm, mm. little bit. No. All right. So, uh, so I was not expecting much. I mean, you know, the I so I watched the movie with my wife. I was just like, this movie sucks. Like, this is, it, it is just a terrible movie. Uh, and my my wife knows. They don't even bother it. Well, first of all, she wouldn't. Do, yeah. She wouldn't want to watch it anyway. But <laughs> that's not yeah, gonna the, happen. The, the movie sucked. My wife liked the movie. She liked the books. As you know, good majority millions of women you know enjoyed the but series. I heard they were just very poorly written. They are poorly okay. written. Okay. I I looked through them and they're. You're like fuck. I can write this shit. <laughs> no, sh- no shit. <laughs> so uh, so I was not expecting much. Hang on. <laughs> yeah, on the back of fucking toilet paper. <laughs> One side shit, the other side's fifty shades. Don't know the difference. Exactly. So uh went to the uh went to the show. Obviously I don't fit the normal demographic for <laughs> fifty shades of gray. Uh but let me tell you it was they're free drinks? No. Then you definitely don't fit the demographic. It was, it was definitely made the parody version was definitely made with men in mind. Oh, okay. It was fucking hilarious the first five minutes of the show i'm sitting there and i'm like mm. eh, mm. you know this is kind of the acting's not so great i said the the dialogue you know like poorly written a little bit i said in the beginning but then like five to ten minutes into it it was just hilarious 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 laughter throughout the whole rest of the the absolute show and if you've seen uh like south park the movie uh-huh that is what it reminded me of as far as like really? ridiculous fucking humor like songs and antics and stuff like so first they introduce and, I, and i'm not going to ruin it too much for people if they do plan on seeing it but mr gray who is the main character in the in the movie in the books right is, is like some super hot sexy guy in a suit he's a billionaire obviously the the women's you know what are you, what are you doing you're on camera buddy you're on camera yeah, Just, i know I'm, I'm 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 not fully prepared go on continue he's, he's, i'm he's, listening he's rummaging through his drawers while we're having a podcast on camera i got it we're going we're good so uh so yeah he's you know really rich billionaire guy you know women's desire all the stuff now in the parody version the lights go out they dim 
and you hear the voice and it's a sophisticated voice of a, of a man and all the you can tell like the tension in the room the women are excited you can hear percolating is and that what you're saying and then the lights kick on and the dude is fatter than you and I like really? almost combined wow. he is just a big big dude that's crazy and he's like i'm mr gray and like everybody just started busting out laughing and the women if you looked around the room their jaws were, <laughs> were like <laughs> dropped over and they're like uh because they were not expecting that but they knew it was a parody right they did know it was a parody okay. but you'd still i mean they were expecting it to be some hot dude but <laughs> it, it was the absolute opposite and then like there is the next so it wasn't chip and dales he was more chip and dip yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he definitely wore chip and dip. Instead of having a six pack, he had the keg. Cool. So, uh, yeah. and then the very Working next, the mine. next scene, he's in this like wrestler's outfit, <laughs> like the old school, like with the, stri- the, yep. the straps that go up. But it was on the opposite outside of his man boobs, <laughs> and he's doing these exercises <laughs> and shit. And then he's then he like some of the songs that they sang. He was like. He's like, I don't like to make love. I like to fuck. I'm a fuck you. I'm a fuck you. And he's pointing to people in the audience. He's like, you came all the way here to play bingo. I'm a fuck you. Oh, my God. And I was just like, dude, it was hilarious, right? <laughs> and like, it was it was one of the better shows that I've seen. And I was not expect like, my level of expectation going into it was, was very low. But, you know, I was wildly, you know, amused with the, with the whole show. Uh, very... You know, just funny songs, hilarious, and I—I I was crying, laughing. Like that's, that's somewhat how funny it was. Hmm. So definitely, uh, if you're a guy and you're like, no, fuck that, no, definitely go. I mean, like if you liked the South Park movie or Team America, where you have like just ridiculous, ridiculous. songs that are just vulgar and stuff, it's definitely the definitely worth going to. So, you have any songs in there like Uncle Fucker or anything? <laughs> Fuck your fucking face, Uncle Fucker. Exactly. I'm a fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. So, uh, so anyway, yeah. The uh, I did text you uh, earlier in the week with something that I, I I texted you, Premium Duncan, right? Yep. I have no fucking idea. Okay, skipping over it. <laughs> I I thought maybe they came out with a new donut, new coffee. Nope. 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 Frick. Don't know. So anyway. Moving on. <laughs> Moving on to the next. So, did you hear what happened today? I believe it was today. So, I'm going to. I know that we're on camera, but I'm going to turn around because Bill needs to see this. So, have you ever seen? Wait for it. Have you ever seen? No, you don't even have to show me. I saw the uh, the oh, tree you that you can like go through. Yeah, yeah but it have did, it, it fell over. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and that thing's like. Hundreds and hundreds of years old. Hundreds and hundreds of I, years. I remember that from my... So I've never seen it in person, so I guess I won't be now. Nope. Would have been badass to fly a drone through. Yeah, would. We didn't have drones back then. But you know what, though? What's one of the back rules? Back then, we had them yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> it just it just broke today. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> but it's on... Uh, it's on uh, government... It's in a, it's in a park. Oh, it's... Uh, yeah. yeah. It's the Redwood Forest. That's what they made the Mavic for. So you can just pull that thing yeah, out and exactly. fly, it where, fly it wherever you want. Exactly. Speaking of which, I'm still waiting on that Mavic. <laughs> you might still be waiting on that Mavic till next Christmas. You so, might get it by next Christmas. Did I tell you the story with, with the... Yeah, I did. with the, And I'll mention to the listeners real quick before we move on past the tree. Uh, the, uh, the Mavic, I put in the pre-order for it back in like... Uh, September. I thought that we didn't we talk about this not last. Episode, I don't think we did. Before. I thought we did. I think I just talked to you about Drones Plus closing. Maybe, but uh, I yeah. thought we touched on. So it. they Go refunded ahead. me my money for right. the for the Mavic, and I had to put it re put in the the pre order with DJI dot com. So one day I'll actually <laughs> get it in. I'll do a nice unboxing of it. Uh, <laughs> seven months too late. Uh, eh. <laughs> I actually stopped shaving on the day that I uh, put in that pre-order, so <laughs> <laughs> one day I'll be able to shave again. But you keep saying you're trying to bring back the presidential beard. I am bringing back the presidential beard, the the Ulysses S. Grant. Exactly. Uh, so, oh my gosh. I What's the little things? <laughs> oh, <laughs> the little things, I, it, it, it's something that I can go on. I, and actually, I didn't. Describe to you what it was because it is definitely something I know that because of the way we both think that you will definitely chime in on some of these. I was driving by a Home Depot today. Home Depot. 
Oh, speaking of which, we're real quick. Sorry. No problem. Home <laughs> my home to bar. My, my my sister's boyfriend came into town for Christmas. He's from Argentina. We went to Home Depot. I was gonna ask you where that accent was from. Yeah, he's Argentinian. And uh I was calling it Home Depot. Uh, and so he started calling it that and I had to, and I felt bad after a little bit. I was like, Hey, I'm just like, you know, yeah. it's not really called that Teaching him bad English. <laughs> I felt bad. And I was like, yeah, it's, it's home Depot. He's like, Oh, okay. <laughs> like, but anyway, God, you're driving past home Depot. So driving past home Depot and we all know home Depot is a big home improvement store and it's huge. It's ginormous. I understand that. Can you ask me or answer me one question? Why? Oh, Why? Are there 20, yes, I counted them, 20 handicapped parking spots out front? Well, the handicapped can't... Uh... No, but I can tell you they won't get shit off the top shelf. <laughs> and generally speaking, they're probably not going to be loading or unloading and, and so on and so forth. It's just those little tiny things that I was like, wait a minute. Why do we have so many? First of all, no, I won't go into that one because I have a problem with that to begin with. You have a problem with the disabled uh, working on their house? No, no, not at all. I have a problem <laughs> with handicapped parking. But I, I had a bigger problem with handicapped parking until uh, eight years ago. And now I don't have a problem with Is that when anymore. you got a handicap parking no, sticker? No, <laughs> no, but uh, I deserve one. So when I was younger, uh, here's my shitty, shitty things I've done in my life. Pro- <laughs> pro- so probably illegal, but I, I'm definitely past the statute of limitations on it. <laughs> <laughs> Don't know. I didn't look it up. There, were, no, there was no internet or limited internet back then. Okay. But when I first started driving, my girlfriend and I, we found a handicap sticker on the ground, like the whole tag. Yeah. And so we we're like, fuck yeah. So whenever <laughs> we went to like concerts and shit, fucking threw that thing up there, they'd usher us into the VIP. We never had to pay for parking. Yep. yep. And because they didn't make the handicap people pay to nope. park. And we got like first in, yep. first out, everything. Like as soon as that concert was over, boom. Get the handicapped people out of here. Exactly. <laughs> so uh, it might have been illegal. I don't know. Can you? Is there a law? It's a, it's a fine. All right. Just like out here, the fine is 250 bucks. All right. Well, this was like many, and, many. And this, could, is, this is decades ago. You could probably go into court and plead your case. <laughs> They'd be like, I didn't know that uh, psychotic, you know, hello, I'm a serial killer. <laughs> hello. I thought it was okay. Yeah, I mean, I was like, damn. And like, what was nice about it is uh, the fucking tag was good for like two years. Yeah. Like two years of VIP parking. Woohoo. Thanks, handicap. Then all you have to do is go to your doctor and go, you know, oh, my knee's really been bothering me. It's really getting hard to walk long distances. Yeah, well. And any doctor so, will so, give so, you so, one. Exactly. So if I could do that. Is that just as wrong as me finding one on the ground and picking it up? No. Because I'm pretending that something's wrong with me, whereas oh, the, no. I just find oh, one. Oh, no. Something is very, very wrong with you. <laughs> <laughs> you weren't pretending. <laughs> you just didn't know it back then. I've been fucked up. <laughs> so what What other little... Do you have any other little things that piss you off? Like, no, it's it's not things that piss me off. <clears throat> not always. It's not always things that piss me off. It's things that... And I had this really bad... I won't call it a habit, but I had this bad issue when I was uh, driving long haul. That I changed Ooh, the word for long you. haul. Is that better yeah, for you? Over the road truck driving. That's right. IMDb, <laughs> <laughs> the Internet Movie Database. Um, now I forgot I was going to say. Oh, these these random th- because you're driving so many miles, and obviously me Ubering now. I'm not driving. Well, I, I actually am driving a lot of miles. Yeah. But there's lots of times where you have vacant. I mean, there's nobody in the car, and these random things will pop into my head here's a question down in china what do they call their fancy plates <laughs> it's not meant to be funny it's not meant to be rude we call them china we call them fine china yeah what oh, do they call them the fine u.s fine america <laughs> don't touch my fine american plates don't touch my my uh, uh nascar series plate <laughs> that's that's my Dale Earnhardt collection. That's right. That's not blood. It's just a little ketchup. That's all. <laughs> so one of the little things that pissed me off, and I might have mentioned this in a previous episode. Okay. Uh, you ever have, I, I might have mentioned it. Somebody's like parked in the middle of the road, like talking to somebody. <sighs> yeah. And, and you're like, you wait behind them for like 10 seconds and then you decide, hey, they're not moving. <sighs> Let me just go around them. Yeah. And as you're going around them, you're like, up on the, like pulling up to the side of their driver's window right. and you're going around them and then they start moving and so like it happens like every, every day at the airport fucking time to me though yeah like you know my you know my community i live in you know 
Somebody will be parked in the middle of the road. I'm like, all right, well, let me just go around them. And as soon as I'm about to go around them, they start moving too. And I'm like, mm. what the fuck? Yeah. Like every time. Yeah. Like, but just wh- wait two more seconds. I'll be around you. You've already inconvenienced me. <laughs> Why do you all of a sudden need to go at the exact time I'm going around you? But it's not even that. Uh, one of the other little things that piss me off is, especially driving around here, I understand that everything is very well lit. I mean, even when we're out here in, in the, the outskirts where we live, I mean, it's still pretty well lit. I have a, the hugest pet peeve with people driving without their lights on. Oh, and yeah. You mean to tell me, and I'm, I've am i been behind you now for five minutes. You haven't checked your speed at all in five minutes? That's impossible. So uh, one of the other things is, and I keep having to open this dang thing. Uh-oh. What? Our video uh, stopped for whatever reason. Uh oh. When did it stop? Don't know. No. I guess I'll get a partial episode. <laughs> and we'll just tell them to go on. So uh, here's hey, a- hey, all I have to do is take this one one section. I'll just move my hands. Move your hands back and forth a little bit. And and, and all right, stop moving them for a second. We'll we'll stay still. And then now now all I have to do is loop that. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. It, uh, all right, kick back a kick back a fake laugh. <laughs> And then we loop that, and uh, <laughs> we got a lot of editing to do now. Uh, okay, another question. Well, that sucks. Why does uh, the and and again, I know the scientific reason, but why does the sun lighten our hair but darken our skin? It's those little things that make you think. <laughs> no, seriously, it's those little things that make you think. Deep thoughts. <laughs> no, no, these are random thoughts. Um, God, I can't come up with another one right now. Uh, I, I can't without looking. These are the things you look up uh, or you think about no, when just, you're, just when you're dri- about. driving around uh, Uber all day. Well, like, that or, and or driving around a truck all day. Um, what do you call male ballerinas? Uh, ballerina? No, that's what you call a female ballerina. Ballerina. Ballerino? <laughs> huh? Yeah, maybe. Um, uh, oh, why is the person that handles your money called a broker? If quizzes are quizzical, are tests testicles? Yes. <laughs> and then the why do we drive on parkways and park on driveways? Yeah, exactly. So here, another one, another uh, similar kind of thing, but random things that would pop into my head. Um, what What is the outside, the, the skin of a tree? What is that called? A bark. And what do we refer to a, as a dog's noise? Bark. Why? And they're both spelt the same. Yep, they sound the same. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But why? Well, if you rip off the bark, it sounds the same as a dog's noise. Uh, okay. Oh, <laughs> yeah. You didn't think about that, did like, you? Like, what? <laughs> yeah, you ever rip off the bark of a tree? No. Yeah, sounds the same. Does it go? Woof! Yeah. Uh. <laughs> hey, have you ever noticed? So in your neighborhood, probably not because I'm nicer than mine. Do um, you ever hear the dogs barking at night? Uh, we do have, uh, I think, the neighborhood over. Some some dogs. Do they ever have to get that last bark in? <laughs> no. No, you'll you'll hear them and they go, roar, 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 roar. <laughs> Right? They're winding down, yeah. Yeah, or winding up or whichever. And then, oh my gosh, I had a pack of coyotes out here. Like right on the other side of my fence. Maybe, you know, over wherever north of, of the house where the where the dirt lot is. I was like, oh my God, that's awfully close. Oh, shit. Oh, there we go. Uh, that's, that's why we can't have nice this, things. That's why we can't have nice things. Totally why we can't have nice things. Oh, no. You need to... Yeah. <laughs> you need to get to your last one. Yeah, we're uh, we're moving on. We're uh, we're actually uh, de- decently on time today. Cool. So, no, Just ran through them. Not, not too many signs. I will, I will have... Uh, um, when when I, I started writing them down in, in the car as I'm driving around... So this might be a weekly thing where I'm like, oh, here's another one. Oh, here's another one. All right. So it's Vegas's little things coming up in the future. My little thing? Yeah, little thing. Let's oh, all right. <laughs> it's not little. How would, you, how would you know? It's average size. I'm so pack, I'm packed like a so, tuna can, man. So <laughs> I'm just like, mm, and mm. <laughs> May not be able to hit the bottom of the barrel, oh, but I'll the sides. break the sides. <laughs> Goddamn right. <laughs> so the... Uh, so the recent news, obviously, we talked about it last episode with all the deaths and shit like that. Uh, Carrie Fisher, they 
the Lucasfilm individuals, the scriptwriters, scrambled for an emergency meeting to see what their future oh, this is. This is serious. Yeah. It's oh, I'm serious. sorry. Yeah. I, I looked at something else real quick. I heard what you said, and I'm like, this is a joke. No, they scrambled together to see what their future is going to be with Carrie Fisher. Are okay. they going to write her out? Are they going to officially kill her off? Or are they going to CGI her in for future episodes? Right. You know, because obviously they did close out... That was fucking crazy. Fuck, what the fuck was that, dude? Seriously. All I saw was your face and heard a noise. And <laughs> is, there, is there something behind me? Dude. Seriously? No, that was crazy. Fuck, what the what fuck happened? Oh, why wasn't it recording anymore? The fucking video stopped. What, what, been... <sighs> what the <laughs> fuck is going on in this podcast studio? Every time we're here. The fucking wind is is cranking outside, man. Not, okay, first nowhere th- else in Vegas is it windy, but this neighborhood. I understand that, but it they were only calling for thirty five mile an hour gusts. It's been windier than that, like la- in the last week. We had sixty mile an hour gusts. What happened, <laughs> dude? Fuck, man. <laughs> Seriously, so what happened? Vegas is sitting directly underneath, like one of those attic. Uh, what are those called? The crawl space, crawl, attic crawl it's, space. It's an access. attic, but yeah, there's no, there's no ladder up there. So the whole, if there was, I'd be dead by now. <laughs> that, that shit would have fallen and kicked me out the fucking window. <laughs> the boom. But uh, no, it's one of those ones that you like push up in order to get to the attic. <laughs> the whole thing like lifted up. I thought there was gonna be a demon that came down and just fucking ripped you up into the ceiling. <laughs> I heard you guys talking about fingers in the buttholes. <laughs> Would you like a finger in the butthole? <laughs> but, dude, that was crazy. Oh, it was Carrie Fisher, man. Yeah. Uh, you know what? Uh, stop. Just stop. It's Carrie Fisher. Or at least let me scoot back. She's Who the hell puts, you know... Hopefully she comes back in Ghost Princess Leia slave outfit. Oop, oh, dear God. Oh, God. <laughs> Who puts a damn attic space in a... I know that this wasn't designed as a podcast studio, but come on. Holy shit, dude. That thing, in no <sighs> shit, like, ripped up entirely. Like, then I, how did, I, I how did it come see, down square? Because I, had it turned a little, yeah. I, we, like we'd be just talking fucking, about a new hospital yeah, trip. Yeah, just fucking tore up. Like, holy shit. Anyway. We need to change chairs. No. <laughs> <laughs> Pass. Fuck. <laughs> So, uh, back to Carrie Fisher. Uh, so they Who? <laughs> I'm looking at the ceiling again exactly. in, case, in case she comes back. Come on, Slave Leia. Please, Slave Leia. Just nope. go. Just do it. Ow, that hurt. Go. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so the Disney, Lucasfilm, or whatever, they scrambled together to see what their, their role or what they're going to do with her. They've decided in... Uh, so episode eight already wrapped. So with production, but episode nine, she was supposed to have a pretty prominent role, and they're going. There lo- looks like they are going to CGI her in. Um, that is their their ultimate uh, kind of decision is to so actually keep her around. Are they how they are they going to like 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 what was at the end of the last movie, or more like a Tupac thing where they're gonna three D image her? Yeah, I don't I don't know that they speak her lines. And yeah, they didn't they didn't release. You know, too much, too many specifics, but like, it looks like they need to keep her in for the for the story or whatever for episode nine. So right. they've decided. So it's it's caused a little bit of an uproar online with some people uh, that are you know saying, "Hey, when is it? When is too much? Uh, you know, with dead actors, like when? Where do you draw the line? You know? Okay, okay, fine. Like, can I bring back uh, and do another Godfather movie? You know what I mean? Sure. The problem is, is yes, you can. But you'd get new characters to play it. You don't get a new character to play. I'm sorry, but Godfather is not in the same uh, icon as Star Wars is. It's just not. Have you ever seen what a Star Wars script looks like? No. Looks like a fucking phone book. And I don't mean, you know, I mean uh, uh, a phone book from San Francisco. It's not small. And it's on that thin type print paper. And they're about a three inch thick script. So. Basically, the naysayers, what what you're telling them is, hey, go ahead and rewrite that whole fucking thing. Yeah. Or and try and get all the references of Princess Leia out of there, or go pick an actress that looks similar to her, or whatever. It just wouldn't work. So yeah. don't so, do it. So you're okay with CGI? Yeah. I, you know what? Yeah, I gave it a problem. I'm just saying that I, I wish they would. When they did it at the end of the last movie, it was. It felt like an afterthought. So if you're gonna do this, then fucking do it right. Yeah, yeah, you're That's right. That's all I ask. You're right. I mean, if we can make fucking uh, Transformers look real, then yeah, uh, 
If we can bring Tupac from the dead for an entire concert. Tupac's not really dead. Well, I know. I know. He just went home. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't they bring back Elvis? That'd be nice. Yeah, well, or Johnny Cash. Anybody. Yeah. Any but, but Tupac. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> We we have enough we have enough money and funding to bring back one person from the dead. Who yeah. shall it be? Tupac. Hey, what do you guys think about Tupac? Well, maybe it's perfect. Easy, maybe it's easier to do a rap star because you know they they do this a lot. Oh, they, so they, they they grab the microphone and put it up to their mouth, so you don't actually have to have lippies moving. You just have to have him walking around. That's true. So <laughs> my my thought. So uh, anyway, I am. Uh, I am still alive, so that's good. Uh, yep, that's the good news is I'm still alive. And uh, depends I, on who you ask, I'm sure. But <laughs> continuing on, yeah, I'm I'm still here. I'm still here on this earth, walking, still lurking about. And I was I was scared shitless. So uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. <laughs> and then uh, you're going in for uh, for an operation. You're getting that uh, penis uh, enlargement you've been looking at. Look, just call it what it is. <laughs> it's an addictomy. Addictomy. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going in for some uh, some surgery tomorrow. Yep. Uh, so and then and I guess maybe in another. So uh, the other thing was we didn't talk about. Uh, I still haven't talked to you. I finally got the second opinion on my neck and my shoulder. Yeah. Yeah. So. Um, Good news. No. Looks like I need a bacchiotomy too. Oh shit. Yep. Well. Eh. So they're gonna try the the pain management first, which is just the hydrocortisone injections and whatnot. But I. At this route, I mean, I've had those before, like yeah. when I blew out my knee and, and broke my knee and whatnot else. They work, but not to something. When, when you break that, you can immobilize that. You can't immobilize this and you can't immobilize. I mean, you can, but it won't. So, yeah, we'll see. Well, it's probably going to be surgery. Well, good luck for your initial surgery for your. And that one I'll be face down for. Ooh, <laughs> you know what that means? No. I will probably get a finger in my butt. <laughs> <laughs> I just hope the doctor don't look like Lurch. <laughs> <laughs> With the giant hands. You rang. <laughs> Somebody needs a finger in their butt. <laughs> yeah. Hang on. Oh, the camera's not going anymore. <laughs> Come on. <sighs> <sighs> yeah, we got to fix that camera issue. I don't know why it just stopped it. and the battery was dying. So we got to just hurry up our podcast, I guess. <laughs> 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 or do a half halfway podcast battery change or something on the camera. Can we, so, is there any way to plug it in? Uh, I don't know. There's a cord or a plug right there. I don't know, maybe we got to get a real camera. I don't know. We'll figure it Actually, out. Actually, those are cheaper. Yeah. Cuz we're not going to do it live. Yeah, and it doesn't have to have a gyro stabilized fucking gimbal like that one does <laughs> exactly. cuz it doesn't move. Right. So, anyway, well, you never know. It might have moved when the fucking ceiling tried to rip off the podcast <laughs> studio. <laughs> Dude. Where's that? Where's that bitch at with the fucking striped socks? Anyway, what are you talking about? Wizard of Oz reference. Oh my hottie, <laughs> my <laughs> hottie. Yeah, remember me and me and the good witch are gonna fly around our no, bubble. No, no, but that wasn't the good witch. That was the bad witch. Yeah, do her too. <laughs> All right, <laughs> maybe I'll stick it. Never mind. <laughs> Hey, she's say goodbye, Bill. She's really good for people with foot fetishes. <laughs> oh, That's all you get, man. <laughs> all right, uh, ladies and gentlemen, thanks again. And have fun. Uh, fuck CES. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to think about it. Of, uh, who am I mad at now? <laughs> We're just going to put it up on the wall. Who are we mad at this week? That's right. We should. On this back wall, on the side wall right here is whoever we're currently or the list of arch enemies that we have so we just need another whiteboard so, so we can yeah, right now it's ces then roger goodell then kevin james then kevin james got it yep so that's and all i can't think of anything else oh besides people who don't tip <laughs> that's I, that's I a lot him, of that's I, a lot of people i gave enough of our business cards away and i'm trying to think Am I calling anybody out? It doesn't matter. Not that I'll ever see him again anyway. Yeah, fuck them. <laughs> exactly. Hey, thanks for listening, but fuck you guys for not tipping. <laughs> but keep listening. <laughs> yeah, just don't. You don't even have to keep listening. Just don't click unsubscribe. There you go. Yeah, just do that. So, all right. Well, thanks again. Uh, end of the line pod uh, is our Twitter. And end of the line podcast is our Facebook page. And I, 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 could, I could do this one because I don't need my glasses on for this one. It's www.endoftheline.us. Perfect. <laughs> All right. I'm Bill. I'm Vegas. And deuces. Deuces.